Hi, my name is Alicia Cota. This is Bio 225, week seven. Today's date is 6-20-2018. This is the continuation of my experiment antibiotic uh, sensitivity Kirby Bowers diffusion test. I allowed the agar plate to, agar plate to remain undisturbed, lid side up for approximately two hours now until the broth has been fully absorbed into the agar. Um, the agar and then um, now what I have already done is place the antibiotics um, in the plate. I have done two of the antibiotics. The first disc was the gentamicin which is this one I've already in placed into the agar and then uh, I also did the uh, novobiocin and then I'm going to demonstrate how to do the penicillin. So I have my tweezers that have uh, been sitting in the alcohol for about 30 seconds from doing the previous antibiotic and I'm going to go ahead and let shake it dry. Then I will be taking my um, antibiotic disc of penicillin with the tweezers. I'm going to go ahead and collect the disc. Okay, so now with the disc, I'm going to transfer it to the plate. I'm going to place the disc on the plate in the section that is labeled penicillin. Then I'm going to gently with the tweezers, um, gently with the tweezers, I'm going to put uh, push the disc into the agar, agar so that it is secure, there is secure contact. Okay, so now with this, I'm going to go ahead and let the plate remain um, lid side up for about 10 minutes so that the disc can attach and secure in the agar surface. Um, after the 10 minutes, I will then invert the plate, and um, which is uh, the have the bottom side flipped up, and then I'll put it in the incubation location for 12 hours. My hypothesis for the for this um, experiment is that the Staph epidermidis, being a gram positive bacteria, will exhibit resistance to um, novobiocin and gentamicin, and will be inhibited by penicillin because penicillin is a bacterial narrow spectrum that targets primary are po primarily gram positive bacteria, and the bacterial side leads to the cell's death. So after uh, 12 hours, I will check the diffusion plate for bacterial growth, which will, that should appear as a white bacteria, uh, should appear as a white field lawn covering the auger, agar. And then um, what it would look like is like how this photo is. Um, right here you could see the, the, the inhibition zone is where there's no growth, no bacterial growth. Um, and that's what I will be measuring with the ruler that has been provided by the lab kit. And that would be the measuring of the inhibition zone and the resistance to the, the antibiotic. So after the 12 hours, I will do the observation.